Okay, let's talk about Spell Table and the Looking for Game channel in the Deck Tuner Discord server. First off, Spell Table is a great way to play with your paper magic cards over the internet. This is uh, Spell Table's homepage. You do have to create an account with an email address. Uh, the, there are um, lobbies that you can join. Uh, on the spell table homepage, you would just come down here if you want to play a game of commander, you select commander and it would uh, show you a list of all the available games to join. I don't recommend this because there's just going to be random people on the internet and who knows what kind of games you'll have. But hey, if you're really desperate for a game, you give it a try. Um, now if you want to create a game, you just hit uh, create game. Name the game. Format will be Commander. And when you select Commander, it'll automatically make uh, four spots at the table. Uh, we don't want to make this game public. If you do, it'll show up here uh, in the public games list and just any random people can join the game. Uh, so we don't want to do that right now. Uh, and then you can add a description to your game. Like if you're making a public game, uh, you can say, you know, this is a casual game, no combos, or... Anyway, so we'll go ahead and create the game. And this this shows uh, what our webcam is showing right now. So we can go ahead and uh, join the game. Now we've got four spots for players. The first thing you want to do is, uh, if your screen is turned upside down, uh, you want to go ahead and come up to this little uh, action button and hit flip video. And that'll flip your, your screen around. And you can also do that for other players if their screen is flipped. Uh, you can flip theirs around so you can uh, see it. First thing you do is uh, come up here and put your commander in. Playing theory. Fearless Voyager version. And uh, if you have a, a partner commander, you can add that here as well. Uh, this keep tracks, keeps track of your commander damage. Uh, once everyone enters all of their commanders, uh, they will all be listed here and uh, you can track commander damage here. And um, here's your life total. You can change this uh, by hitting the plus or negative sign or up and down on your keyboard. Uh, spell table also keeps track of turn order. If you hit space bar, it brings up the turn order highlighter. There's a yellow bar around uh, who the uh, active player. And uh, once you hit space bar, it'll go to the next active, active player. It's not showing it here because there's no other players, but uh, once you pass your turn, you just hit, hit space bar and that way everybody knows uh, you're done. Over here, you've got uh, your little menu bar. Uh, this is a uh, manual way to pass the turn. If you if you can't reach the space bar for some reason, you could just come up here and hit this and it'll pass the turn. If you're using a um, Discord uh, bot to start a spell table game, it may uh, generate a Discord channel for you to chat on with the other players. Uh, the Deck Tuner uh, Discord server will create a channel for you. So uh, if you're in a Discord channel, the first thing you want to do is you want to come over to the spell table options and mute your microphone. That way you're not outputting audio on the Discord chat channel as well as the spell table channel. You'll get lots of echo. Uh, you can uh, stop your video right here if something happens and something is on your screen, like, you know, uh, you know, you don't want anyone to see that you don't have any pants on or something. Uh, you can stop the video temporarily. Um, here uh, you can switch to a focus layout if you want to see one person's uh, one's, one uh, person's board in particular and then uh, when the turn gets passed this screen will switch to the active player's turn automatically for you and uh, this will this will keep your your screen here switch it back just go back and uh, switch to uh, the four corner layout 
And then if you want to invite other players, just click this button and it'll bring up a link. So you can just copy the link and uh, paste that in a Discord server or uh, a chat room or whatever you want to do to invite other players. They'll just uh, paste the uh, link in their URL bar and uh, it'll take them right to that screen that we saw before this where it asks you to join the room. You've got settings down here. Uh, you can configure your inputs, your microphone, your video uh, feed, your preferences. Uh, and um, one thing you'll use a lot is you randomize the player order. Uh, so this is how it'll select who goes first. So w once you hit that, it'll randomize the players on the screen. And uh, whoever ends up in the top left will be uh, the player that goes first. And uh, we've got a list of keyboard shortcuts right there. Uh, FAQ page, and uh, that's about it. Uh, one of the best features of this is uh, if someone has a good enough camera, you can click on a card, and it'll bring it up over here to the side. So if, you, if you're not familiar with the card or you can't quite read it, you can just try clicking on it. It'll bring it up here for you. Uh, if, if that's not working for some reason, you can always type it in. Uh, and uh, it'll bring up a list based on what you typed and you can just click on it. Uh, and that's about it as far as spell table goes. Let's take a look at the server side. So spell table has a bot that's specifically for Discord. Uh, you can come into our uh, uh, spell table looking for games channel. Hit exclamation point LFG and it brings up the bot. And uh, it'll show your game right here. Other players, if they want to join your game, they just hit this Join This Game button, or they can leave. Once it fills up with four players, uh, it will send you a message. Uh, you'll get a private message from the Spellbot saying that your game is ready. And uh, it'll, have a, um, it'll have a link to the game, uh, like the one here, when you hit this it'll create it'll automatically create one of these so everybody can just click on click on that or copy and paste it and uh, everybody will end up in the same game and it'll also create a uh, discord chat ch uh, audio chat channel for everybody to join you can add specific notes to a game by typing a note after the lfg so lfg casual and then you can see here it uh, has a special note for casual to let people know what kind of game you're looking for or uh, if you want a no combo game or something like that. A game will time out after, I believe, 30 minutes. So if anybody has any questions, just let me know. Thanks.